Right, welcome back to BSG Annual 2019. My name is Cyber, and I'm going to be your host for the next couple of runs. And coming up next, we got Ink Any Percent by Nepumuk, and it seems we are ready to go, so let's pass it over to them. Okay, uh, hi, I'm Nepumuk. I'm gonna run Ink. Uh, my friend Bad RNG is gonna do most of the talking, so I can focus. Um, yeah, let's get, get uh, right into it. Do you wanna do a countdown? I'll do kind of right. Two, one, go. So this is ink. Uh, it's you're basically playing this little square filled with ink. Uh, but the the trick in this game is uh, when you're playing this casually, you'll find out pretty fast that the entire levels are black. So usually you can uh, double jump or just walk over the, uh, over the platforms and then you'll find the platforms. But of course, Nepumak is so great at this game. She just knows where the platforms are. Um, the only thing we have to do at the first 10 levels is go to the end, which is the very much colored block. Uh, after that, the blocks will be black wow. until you have cleared all the enemies on the stage so these enemies are the enemies that have to be killed there will not be any other kind that we have to kill the the the, the start of the game is pretty basic so you have to learn everything um, it's still not trivial though uh, getting the first 25 levels deathless is not a given we, we try to do it, though. I mean, the, the, the first world is sort of like an introduction, so it's, it's yeah. not that difficult. It doesn't have so many elements yet. So for now, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we have three worlds in total, uh, each consisting out of 25 levels uh, and ending with a boss, which we are getting pretty close to already. Uh, the game will ramp up in difficulty a lot, uh, but most likely Nepu will not die more often in the later game. <laughs> Don't jinx us. There are a couple of skips that, that, that are pretty, well, horrendous sometimes, but most of them are in late game. And most of the like optimization to this game in the past years has just been optimizing the jumps. Like every time you can save a jump, it saves like a third of a second. So like I think I did most of the work. Yeah, you on should. Optimizing you it. should know because you hold the world record, right? Yeah, it took me three years though to get it, so it it didn't go fast. So this game is still, uh, well, it's still being run. Not that. Not that often right now, because optimizing is really hard. Uh, I, I'm still trying to. Oh, here's our first boss. He basically drops to the floor, and then you can hit him. And it's, it's random how fast he drops. It's random, but right now he's giving a pretty good oh, yeah, pattern. This, is good. this this was good. You can lose up to seven seconds just from him. Dropping, so. Yeah, definitely. There's also a trick in this game where you uh, die at the exact same frame as the boss does. Uh, if you do that correctly, uh, you skip the animation with all the colors, you just re uh, retry the level. Uh, but this time the boss will be dead. That roughly saves five seconds, I believe. Wait, yeah. that might be just my terrible laptop. But well, it's four for me. <laughs> yeah, that's my terrible <laughs> laptop, all right. <laughs> so I'm blaming my laptop for not being in top five anymore. Do we have time for a quick donation? Uh, sure, go ahead. All right, we have a five euro donation from Quaker that says, yeah. have fun with your run, nephew, and break that color game like always. Smiley face. Thank you, Quaker. So uh, the next level has a trick, and uh, Nepu will tell us more about it. I'll Basically, 
you try and st mm, skip the intended way by going up here instead of like all the p path on the right it saves about seven seconds oh, and then oh. you die <laughs> and then you die <laughs> Yeah, this world has lots of spikes that you can yeah, run into. World 2 is deceivingly hard. I, I still think this is my worst world. Mine because too. I, I always underestimate it and then I die a lot. Because you need to get the, the cycles right. If you don't, you will probably die. And I like this level. The cycle is go straight away. But you have to wait for the block to land before you jump. Because in this game you have a double jump, of course, but not if you're already in the air and the block will always start a few millimeters above the ground. So if you want to go too fast, which happens a lot to me, um, you just die instantly, basically. Uh, this one is so long, it's really unfortunate if you die at the end. Oh. Uh, th I hate this level. Yes. This first gap is, uh, well, wrecking you, and but after that, that's just a, uh, an X amount of jumps. And if you perform them correctly, you will reach the end, whatever you do. But that first jump is annoying. Yeah, the first jump, since you don't see anything, you just have to YOLO it, basically. Basically, another thing you might be thinking right now is wait, I already saw this level, right? Well, it's actually pretty close. Uh, this game likes to reuse their levels and then just add one little thing. So, for this level, we add they added a turret, which to be fair, that level isn't harder than the first one. We get some yeah. very this jump is so yeah that jump is uh, <laughs> so now we get two pretty straightforward levels and then the the second boss uh, as I said before there's uh, a way to skip the animation with all the colors uh, this boss is actually the easiest to get it but it's still really hard so let's see if she gets it ah oh, that was really close though i was i was afraid of the little box at the top because the boxes from the top they fall randomly and they can just kill you and then you're screwed then you have to do it again so i i believe that's actually the only rng in the game is the boss fights the first and second because we can manipulate the third one and then there's no rng left in that one um, the first one is the RNG is just how, when will he drop so that's not really that bad it does cost time though second one is uh, all about where the blocks drop and as she said they can be really annoying sometimes messing up your skip Uh, yeah, you want to explain the, the homing bullets and the trap Oh, fights? right. I, I already uh, missed that one. <laughs> so, uh, in, in World 2, the, the added thing was the regular turrets. They just shoot in a, in a standard pattern uh, at a correct... Wait, how should I say it? In a straight line. Now, these turrets in World 3 that are added are homing and... Well, if you follow the route precisely and do the level the first try, uh, we won't have any problems because they work on a uh, global cycle. So every time you enter a level, uh, the cycle will be the same the first time. But after you die, the timing will just continue from your previous attempt. So after that, your, your complete timing will be off and it's just well damage control after that trying to finish the level in the fastest way but the fastest way is 
most likely gone. Uh, this doesn't work if the turrets don't see you because they they have to see you to shoot. That's why this level won't have that problem. But oh wait, this one doesn't even have those. I'm I'm really bad at remembering the the order of the levels, which costs a lot of time because if you just know which way to go right away, of course that saves time. Uh, I just always go to the right at the start but that means that in about 10 levels or so i'm going the wrong direction but nepu probably doesn't have this problem sometimes i do uh, did you talk about the keys what? Uh, i haven't spoken about the keys so the thing is you probably can't see them because we never color them um but there are these little gates with a, a keyhole in them. You could have seen that uh, at the bottom right there. And you need to grab a key to unlock that part. Uh, Wor World 3 especially likes to play around with those because without the keys, this level would be like two seconds maybe. And now it's a, f a 12 second level because you have to go all the way constantly. Uh, let's see, in level 70, yeah, 72 is where we tried to skip one, right? No, Dude, 73. 71 first try. Nice. Because yeah. it's only moving platforms and, and no now. solid blocks. And here we get the key skip. So uh, the uh -huh. entire game we have to get all the keys, but here we can go under. Yes. Nice, first nice. try. That's really sick, actually. And up next is actually the final boss already, so get ready on time because we're almost there. Just trying to get stuck. You're trying to get stuck and then be in a position he can't hit you. And then, ah, uh, he didn't hit her. Okay. So time and is when I touch the door? Uh, so time. time. Uh, that's a sub 12, that's really good. Yeah, I was hoping for this, so <laughs> I'm happy. Yeah, thank you for commenting. Um, <laughs> it was welcome. great to finally run the game again and um, have fun with the rest of the marathon. Let's see if uh, Xida can get under his estimate this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Nepumuk, for that amazing run of ink. Coming up next, we have Octopath Traveler Single Story Cyrus, done by Zeta. So. Let's get ready for that. All right, we're gonna be running a couple of ads, so we will be right back.